Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron, and uh, this week is a little bit of a continuation on last week when I got into showing you how to do rounded corners. Because this week I'm going to show you a plugin called Soapskin, and uh, you'll see what that does now in a few minutes. So, just to demonstrate what Soapskin can do, I'm going to use another plugin, uh, Bezier Curves, which we'll be talking about in another tutorial later on. But I'm just going to draw quickly a uh, really weird shape, really really weird curved line. So just click and drag some weird shapes for you. All right, so now I'm going to rotate this. Okay, that's a weird axis, isn't it? All right, hang on a second now. Really weird right there, and I'll bring this up the blue axis and connect the shape. Okay, no wait. So this is our shape, and as you can see, it's really, really random, really organic. It doesn't follow any set pattern. Like last week, I showed you um, making things on a lathe or making things using the Follow Me tool. They're very consistent. They're very mathematical. There's no uh, random variations. They're all very uniform. This isn't uniform at all. It's very, um, very organic. It's, it just it follows no set pattern. So filling something like this in is next to impossible. You'd have to use a method like this where you just basically just draw lines back and forth until it becomes filled in and then you could smooth it. But that's very time consuming and very tedious and really it, in the end of it it doesn't look that great because it doesn't flow properly. It just goes straight back and forth between both sides. When in actual fact there would probably be a curve or some sort of arc, concave, convex shapes going on in here rather than just straight lines. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to highlight my object and I'm going to go up to the Soapskin plugin. Now the Soapskin plugin uh, I believe is free and uh, you can install it the same way as the other plugins I did in the last uh, tutorial. You can just download the file, extract them and put the file into your plugins folder. Pretty straightforward. And uh, so I'll just click this and uh, it'll bring up a time limit. You don't need to worry about that. So this is the shape we get and um, this is what it looks like before it's actually going to render the averages between all of these lines and this grid here is of course showing you the number of divisions which you can change down here I'm going to type in 20 and uh, hit enter and as you can see it divided the grid up uh, into twice as many squares so then what I'm going to do now is I'll hit enter again and it actually is finding all the averages for me and as you can see it is a very very organic very um, it flows really nice all the all these lines in between of course you can change the number the number of divisions to however many you want of course the file size and the number of processing power or the amount of processing power will increase um, so this is what I have now I'm just going to switch back to my cursor and go into this and uh, I'm going to reverse my faces so that they're all showing up as you can see the soap skin itself is separate from the model that I actually drew so if you want to go back and edit this you can but uh, we'll just leave that for now so we have this and uh, it gets better because it's not just the fact that hey cool we made a shape that uh, flows very naturally which I'll show you you can just triple click and I'll soften it and I'll bring this up a bit smooth our uh, coplanar and you can see it's very soft shape it's very smooth looks fantastic but you can also go one step further than just smoothing your surface because with soap skin if I select my soap skin which I have I can go up to bubble and as you can see down here I have a pressure in a uh, uh, pressure box I'll just type in 50 and hit enter and you can see it actually inflated my model a little bit so I'll type in a hundred it's gonna inflate it even more and I can put in a ridiculous value say like a thousand and it'll just completely glitch out but it's there's a lot of physics going on in here so I'll type in a more realistic number Let's try 100 again 
So you can see that you can you could use this to make pillows. You can do a number of things with this. If you type in a negative value, I'll just type in negative 50, it'll push it in. I'll just type in a higher value just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, there we go. So you can like make a bowl with it or something if you wanted to. Um, and yeah, you can you can explode this and it becomes editable geometry. So I can uh, just go back to my cursor. I can move these individual points around if I want, like that. And uh, I can of course smooth it as I've done before. And you can really do some pretty amazing stuff with this. One of the best applications I find for using the soap skin and actually how I came across it in the first place was making tufts for uh, like a couch, like tuft, uh, tuft materials on a couch. And I'll just show you what I mean. So I'll get rid of this. And um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the uh, some like those older old school sofas with like the leather and you get like the buttons in them with the rounded, the rounded material. So I'm just going to go in here and I'll make a six by six uh, square, something to start with. I'll reverse my face. And I'm going to take I'm going to up, up the sides to 50, and I'll take these in a half an inch, we'll say. Half inch on all four sides, like that. These were, this is where our uh, buttons will go. And I'll just, I'll take this one, and I can make the button out of that one later. Actually, no, nah, I'm going to have some weird lines on it, so I'll just make a normal one. So that will be our button for later. So now I'm going to use the arc tool and make sure that I'm on the correct axis. And bring these up an inch. Like that. Come on. There we go. Sometimes the uh, getting the right axis can be a bit finicky, but there we go. So now we have this shape, and I'm just gonna erase these lines because we don't need them really weird. If you had to fill this in manually, it would take forever. It'd be a complete nightmare. So I'm just going to do what I did before. I'll highlight my whole object and we get this. So I'm going to change the divisions to 15 and then we'll just hit enter and we can watch it render it out right before our eyes. Just going to fill it in for us. And now we get this shape. And I, I want this to be a little bit more cushiony looking. It's a bit deflated at the moment. So I'm going to select my model and hit bubble and I'm going to bring it up to we'll say 200 and now I need maybe a little bit more try 400 so that looks kind of cushiony so we'll go with that so I'll just uh, explode this and I'm going to smooth it bring this up all the way so this is our basic shape and uh, let's get rid of these really weird lines you can re-render them again if you have some really weird surfaces going on. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm going to go to here, hit G, and I'll make this, I'll just call it Tuft. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the button. So I'm just going to bring this up uh, a quarter of an inch, 0.25. So now I should be able to go into here and round my corner and do an eighth of an inch. And it should meet directly in the middle, so we'll hit OK and this will be our button so I'm just gonna smooth surfaces on this and triple click it and call it a button so that's our button so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this head away for now so now we'll take our tuft and I'll move it over to here and I'll say X6 so now we got our object moved a little bit and I'll do the same in this direction. Say the same thing, X6. So we got like a cool patterny uh, tuft effect going on and turn off profiles and uh, turn off edges too. So we have a kind of a cool fabric y uh, couch seat, even mattress effect going on. And we'll just take our buttons and We'll toss these in here. I'm going to upscale them a little bit just so they cover the, the hole a bit better. So whatever that is. And I'm going to place them in here like that. And then we'll say X6. So then we have that. And I'll just delete these edge ones. 
and highlight all these again and then move them this in this direction should be six inches we'll say x5 so now we have like a uh, fabric -y, uh, you know, you could use it for anything really practical, practically speaking, and um, very, very simple, very easy to make, uh, very straightforward. I'll just turn my edges back on. So that is soap skin, and it is a very useful, very. Uh, it comes in handy a lot. I use it almost all the time for non-uniform, uh, more organic shapes. And uh, as you can see, it saves you so much time. If you had to render this out by hand, it would take forever completely. Um, so as usual, guys, if you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen in this video or have uh, requests for future videos or tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and thanks for watching.